Blessed Mother has got a, a very important and sometimes we can say a controversial role because some Christians accept her as mother. Some of the Christians don't give her as much place in our relationship with God. Through the ages, the entire church has always had a devotion to our Blessed Mother, both in the East and the West. Even in scripture, whenever she's mentioned, it is very, very telling what her place is. We hear Elizabeth at the, the visitation saying, why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? And then at the foot of the cross, our Lord himself told the beloved disciple, which could be seen as John, the evangelist and apostle, or could be seen as the beloved disciple, and that's all of us, saying, this is your mother. And then, woman, there is your son. And then from that point on, the disciple made a place for her in his home. And home, of course, we can either say it's a physical home or really a place in our hearts. And so therefore, our Lord, while suffering on the cross, whatever he said was very important, and imagine that he said those words, giving uh, his mother to be our mother. So at the Second Vatican Council, Lumen Gentium, in 1964, Pope Paul VI actually declared her Mary, Mother of the Church. And thus, Pope Francis, in 2018, he said, we will honour her as Mother of the Church with the Divine Office and with the Mass on the Monday of the Pentecost. Why Monday of the Pentecost was chosen is because we're told in Acts chapter 114, the apostles were gathered, and who was there? Our Blessed Mother was there too, praying with them, holding in faith and hope the promise of the Paraclete. And when the Paraclete came, the Holy Spirit came, our Blessed Mother was together with the, with the Apostles. And so therefore, she is rightly Mother of the Church as well. St. Francis did a meditation on the Hail Mary, and it's actually called the Salutations of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In his meditation, he has mentioned both Virgin, and then he has also called her Mother. And it's from there that he coined a term called Virgin Made Church. The first three hails on palace, tabernacle, and home actually relates to the Trinity because the palace has the king and the king is God the Father. Mary's womb was like the tabernacle for our Lord Jesus, so it's referring to the Son. And then the home, the dwelling, is for the Holy Spirit to dwell. And then we have the robe, the maid, our servant, and mother. The robe is something we wear, but it's external, but it's very close to the body. And then we talk about servanthood. I'm the handmaid of the Lord. Let what you have said be done unto me, the fiat. So I'm the handmaid. And then from her fiat, she became mother. So it's almost like from an external to become the internal. And it's a growing intimacy in, in this movement from robe to maid uh, to mother. So Francis actually intuited that Mary really is a type for the church as virgin and as mother.